to Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fonts. And I'm Brittany Flowers. We're going to get to all of this in just a second, but we have a great show for you for the Summer Solstice Festival to the 37th Annual Steppin' Out Festival and great pet friendly events. We are hearing about a few of the great things going on in downtown Blacksburg this summer. That's right. Plus, we are headed to Clifton Forge to visit the historic Masonic Theater and to hear about the upcoming Virginia Opry. Find out about its history, the music, and how you can see the show. And there is a new ice cream shop now yes. open in our area. The owner of Blue Cow Ice Cream is here to talk about the new store, and we are getting a little taste of their ice cream. Oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. And the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation has their upcoming Brewer's Ball. Today we're learning a little bit about cystic fibrosis, meeting some of the people that are affected by the disease, and we'll be getting details on the event with a few of the brewers. Keeping our photographer today. Day, very busy. Yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> I we're also getting details on Hidden Valley Country Club's new member program, summer programs for kids and event opportunities. Details on the Country Club coming up. And if we haven't shared enough events for you to attend, <laughs> there is another. The Body, Mind, and Spirit Fest is coming up. We'll share the details with you. That is my kind of festival. And James from Zoe's Kitchen is back in the daytime kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, today he is making some amazing sandwiches. And we'll be talking about the restaurant and the whole entire kitchen is just filled with some yummy goodness. So we're going to check in with him in a little bit. But tomorrow is a big holiday. Did you hear oh, about huge, huge holiday? Huge, huge. Yes. Okay, so it is National Donut Day and we know who likes to celebrate. Dunkin' Donuts, my favorite. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. Uh, they're giving away dozens and dozens of free donuts tomorrow. Dunkin' lovers can celebrate the holiday with a free classic donut of their choice with the purchase of any beverage. And I love their coffee. Yes. It's the best. It's the perfect time to try the new uh, donut varieties. They have two Ooh, new yeah, ones. They have them here. They have the vanilla cake batter donut, which is this one right here, I believe, with right. the um, chocolate on top. Yes. And then they have the Dunkin' Donut Sprinkles Donut, They're, which is so with the little D's. little D's. So, so cool. So to carry on the tradition of serving those who serve our country and our community, Dunkin' is surprising local fire stations. I guess it's not a surprise for telling I know, people. Surprise! Surprise! Yeah. Uh, they're <laughs> they're um, honoring fire stations, police stations, and public servants across Virginia with donuts as a way to say thank you for their service. So cool. So, um, Enjoy some Dunkin' Donuts tomorrow. Yes, definitely. Enjoy my favorite, my my ultimate favorite. This mm -hmm. is from my childhood. Yes. Is the powdered donut with the white cream filled in the inside. Yes. And I turn my girls onto it, and it's their favorite now as well. It's a family tradition. I mean, I could just eat a whole box of them. Oh, my I love gosh. them so much. I mm. won't. I'm excited about but that. But I could. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because summer is officially here when it's pool season. Right. And the schools are out and the pool's open. Yes. That's to me when s summer has started. Right. Okay. So, and if you have girls, the older they get, sometimes the clothes that they wear get smaller and smaller. I don't want to talk about that. I just I experienced this. a one and a half this. year old. Uh -huh. This was my fear with having girls. Right. Okay, so I just experienced this just this week. Mm -hmm. I, um, I came back, we went on a little vacay this weekend, came right. back and my car was just riddled with some bird poop, right? So I was like, oh, my girls would love to wash my car because that's fun when you're little, it right? Is, yes. So it's like, Absolutely. okay, we're going to wash the car. Well, my daughter, instead of getting her bathing suit on, right. came out with like, this little, little itty bitty skirt and this little shirt. Uh -huh. I'm like, gosh, she's eight. Right. So I didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. And then. Because you was, don't want to do that either. I, I, exactly. What do you do? I'm like, oh, right. that doesn't look great. Okay. So I'm like, we're washing the car. Mom, Whatever. chill out. Yeah. Okay. So then I was like, oh, well, let's, you know, run around in the sprinkler. I'll turn the sprinkler on. And mm -hmm. then my daughter goes back in. She comes in with a, out with a bathing suit, a two piece. That's her younger sister. Like two, by two years, right? She's so six. It's two years too yes. small. Yes. Okay. Yeah, two years too small. Right. So I did say something right. at that point. I was like, Lydia, that doesn't fit you. I right. think that you, maybe you should put a different bathing suit on. She's like, no, it's fine. I'm like, well, okay, but it's too small. Mm -hmm. And then she did say, okay, I'll go and change. But Interesting. Yes, I know. And I thought, eight years old already. Right. So I wonder, like, is eight is that the time when they're like all right i'm gonna look at 
the fashion of the people around me and of the celebrities. Yes. And well, I don't know about the celebrities yet because right. we don't have like the fashion magazines laying right. around or anything like that. And I know that at school she's noticing right now other girls mm -hmm. and what they're wearing because I know that she was talking about skinny jeans right. and all the rest of it. So I do know that now she's starting to take notice of that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it just kind of like concerns me a little bit right. that so early it happens. But this is so cool. I bring this up because this woman named Sharon Chosky, she got so fed up with not being able to find clothes for her daughter that wouldn't be short, yep. tight, and pastel. Right. About that. Yes. She decided to come up with her own clothing line. So for research purposes, check this out. Wow. She collected boys and girls clothes from 10 of the biggest clothing stores that were made for kids of approximately the same age. Check this out. It showed that compared to boys' clothes, right. girls' shorts are a third of the length, shirts are three inches thinner, and the sleeves are shorter. So she developed her line of clothes called Girls Will Be. Uh -huh. And take a look. I love them so much. She got inspiration from her daughter and niece, Maya, and right. they wanted clothes that wouldn't be frilly, nothing with bows, and absolutely right. no sparkles. The shorts, um, that graphic is covering up. Uh, there you go. A little look at, you know, right above the knee. They're comfortable. They're cotton. They probably right. wash really well. I love this. This is exactly, like, the, it, I feel like I'm looking at pictures of me as a child. Yes. And I always was like, I felt like, oh, I'm a tomboy. And I, I thought so a, too. And I was an active girl. Little girl, yes. And I just, that's what I liked to wear. I know. I have an older brother, right. and I always had his hand-me-down, so I was always wearing boys' right. clothes. But that's kind of all I really knew. But I like anyway, that. Well, I'm glad. We're, I, I mean, it. it's a step in the right direction for sure. Yes, I think so. So the uh, website is girlswillbehq.com. Mm -hmm. So if it's good music you're looking for, look no further than the Harvester Performance Center in Rocky Mount. The stage has seen some of the music's most talented performers over the years, and the artists just keep on coming. This Friday, we have Nikki Hill. She takes the stage at 8. She's a powerhouse singer that will blow you away. Tickets are still available for that show tomorrow. And then next Thursday, you can catch Toto. The mm -hmm. multi-Grammy winning band is just getting their summer oh. U.S. tour underway. And they're hanging out at the Harvester. It's great. Dance and sing to some of the classic hits. That's Thursday, June 8th. And the hit artists just keep coming to the Rocky Mount stage later this summer, playing host to Emmy Lou Harris, Bruce Hornsby, Sister Hazel, and Graham Nash. Mm -hmm. For a list of all of the performances and to get your tickets, check out harvester-music.com. Hey, speaking of great music, have you heard about the Giant Jam Sandwich going on in Elmwood Park this weekend? Well, Across the Way Productions, the creators of Floyd Fest, are throwing this 10-hour jam party. The Floyd Fest family picnic is all day Sunday, June 4th, at the Hall, uh, Elmwood Park Amphitheater. Enjoy an insane mu lineup of live music, food trucks, vendors, and outdoor fun. You can get tickets online ahead of time for just $20, and you can get your tickets at the gate for $25 on Sunday, or you can go on us. We have four tickets to Sunday's Jam Sandwich to give away to one lucky viewer today. All you have to do to win, you find the contest post on our Daytime Blue Ridge Facebook page, and then you're going to comment with the names of one of the bands that will be performing oh. at the event. So do a little homework, get yeah. on there if you want to win. That sounds like a great, great time, and yeah. they know how to jam, that's for sure. Yeah. All right, we have a great show for you today. Coming up, a look at just some of the fun that you can get into this summer in Blacksburg. Get your calendar ready to mark down some of the dates to join the excitement. And a little later, we head into the daytime kitchen with Zoe's Kitchen. We'll check out some of their Mediterranean sandwiches and so much more. Don't go away. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge. You're watching Daytime Blue Ridge, winner of the Emmy Award for Outstanding Magazine Program Feature. Be sure to like us on Facebook.